guys it is monday and it has been a very long monday i feel like this weekend flew by i'm ready for another weekend i'm literally counting down the days to veterans day because i really need a long weekend like two days is not enough they really need to do a four-day work week i know there's been things about it passing a bill but i don't know if that would count for schools so i don't even know if that would pertain to me but i'm like really struggling with the work-life balance right now and i guess that's part of being a teacher doing a lot of work from home unpaid and it's just like eating away and uh i like just cleaned as much of my house as possible because i've just been looking around and seeing a mess and i'm sure you guys have seen things in the background still have this whole thing on the side of me to clean uh, but i had like a coat rack here for the last few videos i inherited it from my grandmother they they finally worked on cleaning out her bedroom and I told her, I don't know how I could really use that coat rack, but it had to be repaired. A lot of the hooks on it were actually broken. So it was kind of like on a to-do list. Joe finally fixed it. It's in the corner now with my coats. But it's literally like nine at night. I still have to go shower and go to bed. And it's just, it's going to be a long week. <laughs> you can tell I'm not in the most pleasant mood. Kind of had a rough weekend. It rained here in Mass. Me and Joe were supposed to go pick out a pumpkin. I was going to make it a vlog for you guys. Both times that me and Joe tried going to the farm, they've closed down both times. It has been the rainiest fall I think Massachusetts has ever had. Um, so we didn't get to pick pumpkins this year, which means we didn't get to carve the pumpkins. I didn't get to have the fun night where I play, where we watch a movie and carve pumpkins and eat candy. And I was looking forward to that. And I don't know, it just feels like nothing is working out in my favor recently. But anyway, I don't want to just get on here and sprout negativity. This is about the outfit. But I know, you know, you guys can tell from my mood, so I wanted to fill you in. So, this is one of those Target flannels that, I mean, sorry, Walmart flannels that I am obsessed with that's under $20. It's $18.97. This print came back in stock because um, I did buy it in, like, a purple, a blue, a, like, brown-orange, like, a very dark brown with orange striping, and a black and white. But I really, really wanted this, like tan neutrally color so when it came back in stock i added to cart and got it and you guys know this is one of my favorite ways to style it and then these bottoms just came in target was having a 30 percent off women's clothing sale and these bottoms are from anna and viv i am obsessed with them i am so glad i got them in three colors because i got them in the gray i got them in tan and i got them in black and then I bought another style in brown plaid and gray plaid because I really want to try to not wear jeans to work. I mean, I will wear jeans here and there. And you guys know the first half, like the first month of September, I was rocking. I was doing so good with my dresses and my jumpers. But then the weather kind of cooled down and I was wearing jeans. And that's totally fine. It's not like I'm not allowed to wear jeans. Um, you know, I don't wear any jeans with distressing. I want to be professional. But if I can stare away from jeans and just wear something different, I much prefer that. So these are super stretchy super comfortable but they're not jeans they have the pockets in the front um and they are like a paper bag waist it's kind of hard to there you go you can kind of see like the crinkly edge super cute it comes with the belt so the top is a 5x the bottom is a 3 which is so weird because usually i'm the opposite i'm usually very bottom heavy not top heavy um but i did i could if i was gonna wear a shirt like this every single time I could definitely get like a 2X, 3X. But there are moments where I'm going to want to have the shirt unbuttoned and I want it to fit around my hips. And for it to fit around my hips, I need a 5X. Normally, I wear a 4X in Terran Sky, and that's what this brand is. That is the plus size line at Walmart. But flannel doesn't have a lot of stretch. And with things with buttons, I don't want the buttons to like stretch open. So I got a 5X. The bottoms, I normally do a 4X on the bottom. When excuse me, whenever I get something from Target or Old Navy, but this is the plus size line. This is not Universal Thread, A New Day, you know, the other standard brands at Target. This is Ava and Viv. Ava and Viv is a plus size only brand at Target, and they tend to run more true to size or on the bigger end because it's more made with a plus size women body in mind since that is what that brand focuses on. So I find that I can definitely usually rock a 3X in this brand. And then I even read the reviews and people were saying size down. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna go with my 3X. So glad I did it. Actually is like a little loose on me, but I, the 2X I think would have been too tight and the belt does cinch it in. But you guys see I have like a lot of room here. 
So, and it's super comfortable. I did like the sit test. I was a little nervous that it was good standing, but when I sat, it was gonna be tight and not, that wasn't the case at all. I got tons of compliments. People were loving my outfit today. And I don't usually wear like crop tops for work, but you can't see any skin the way I had it tied. I didn't wanna, you know, I had it tied low. I had the pants all the way up just to add a little definition, just so it wasn't like a straight flannel shirt. But yeah, this was the outfit for Monday, day one. The way the rest of the week's going, I might not be as stylish. I do have like a little Halloween thing planned for tomorrow, but Wednesday, Thursday, Friday might be more chill for me because your girl's not feeling it this week. All right, guys, it is Tuesday and it is Halloween. Happy Halloween. So remember my outfits of the week are one week behind now. So you guys actually seeing this, it'll be like the second week of November. It just has made it a lot easier for me to get it edited and get the links and uploaded for the Saturday. Because before what I was doing was Friday night, I was rushing to get the clips together, edit, get links, and it was way too much for me. So I do one week behind now. Uh, but you're still seeing the outfits I'm wearing to work. It's still pretty current. And because it was be Halloween, I wanted to wear definitely something on the Halloween side. So I actually got this dress recently from Torrid in store. I hadn't been to the Torrid store in so, so long, but I went to the mall with a friend. Um, she wanted to do some shopping and when we got there, they had 80% off clearance. I'm gonna do the haul for you guys. It'll be like a Friday, because that's usually my try on hauls. And I was amazed at the prices of the things running, uh, ringing up. I literally got stuff for a dollar, $3, $4, I think the most expensive thing I bought was like 12 bucks. And you guys know for Torrid, that is absolutely amazing. The cashiers were even shocked because they were ringing these things up. I think this dress might have been like eight bucks. So I wore this dress. Let me unclip the cardigan so you guys can see better. I wore this dress. I went to a food truck event with Joe and it had like a costume contest. I didn't enter the costume contest or anything like that. But I figured I would dress costume E. I do have actual costumes, but it was like it was like a random hot day in Mass, which I'm not complaining. I was very happy. It was about 75 that day, and a lot of my costumes are like full length and heavy, so I didn't want to wear them. So I figured this dress was perfect. Actually, let me. That's the only thing with the mic because this is like a turtleneck dress. All right, hopefully that's good enough. So the dress is short sleeve, and as you can see, it's completely sheer. So it is high neck, but very breathable because it's literally like just a see-through mess sheer layer. These are attached though, so it is a little difficult to put on. You gotta make sure you have both layers on as you're putting it over your head because it is attached, but the little straps have like a little string attaching it to the mesh. And then it goes down to the knee. Let me back up so you guys can see the length a little bit more but yeah flows right to the knee and I did braids and I was Wednesday Adams and then I told myself oh I'll wear the same thing to work on Tuesday so my plan was to wear it with braids today but I woke up super duper late I took the extra time to still put on the dress and it did take a little bit because I don't know how it happened it must have twisted in the wash because the dress on the inside was inside out. I had to like twist the strings, flip the dress. It was like, I could have used some assistance this morning. So the dress is a little tricky to put on and off because of the attachment. I almost wish it wasn't attached, but it is what it is. Um, so I didn't have time to do the braids, basically what I'm trying to say. So I just wore this updo, but I figured it's still a Halloween look and I still got tons of compliments. Everyone's like, oh, you're definitely in the spirit. And then on top, this little layer is from Bloom Chic. You guys know um, I do work with them. I have a code that will be linked down below. And you get like 15% off, I believe. So check it out. But this is a cardigan I got from them. And it has like a spider web design. Super duper pretty. People were complimenting me left and right. Felt really good. I felt so cute this morning. Even though I was running late, I was in like the best spirit. I've been listening to a good audio book. Um, I'm tired. I'm still tired, but my apartment, me and Joe, like really cleaned it the last two days. So it's a lot more livable and it's caught me in better spirits. And I just felt, I always feel cute, more confident when I make a little effort in my appearance. So even though I did tie my hair up, I still felt cute because I still have my little bangs out and I actually use a Halloween scrunchie. So I will show it to you guys. I got this actually 
from a small business. You can, I think there's a tie. Yeah, right here. Book Barn Galore. If you guys watch any of my book related videos, she makes book sleeves and bookmarks. I have a whole collection of hers here on my bookshelf behind me. And last year I ordered a book sleeve around Halloween time. And if you order two sleeves or more during special seasons and holidays, she always throws in a free scrunchie. This year, I think it was like a spider web or a skull design. But last year, it was this really, really cute pumpkin design. So I happily used it this year. I actually did a lot of accessories today. So I had this in my hair. And then this, I actually got at like a Halloween store many years ago. I want to say it was Halloween Spirit. And it was just a few bucks, super cheap. And it's just a bunch of skeletons. And I actually did get compliment on this bracelet today. Super cute. This I actually have in my bracelet collection year round because I will wear it year round. I'll tell you guys all the time I love like skeleton stuff. And then these I wear just for Halloween. I just got these from Target a few weeks ago. I have been wearing them mostly outside of work though. Like when me and Joe go out on like Saturdays or Sundays. Because to be honest, my work days in the morning are just a little rough. I don't have as much time for accessories. But today I took the extra effort and I put them on. And these are from Bubble Bar. Or is it Sugar Fix? I think it's both. I think that's the same thing. I don't know. Bubble bar, sugar fit. Anyway, if you guys know, let me know. I want to say it's bubble bar. They'll be linked down below. But this is actually, so it comes in three pieces. So let me take, I kind of mixed and match three of them. Let me. Okay. So this is one three pack it comes with. And this one says, hey, boo. Hey, boo. And it just has cute little white beads. And then these two are the, um, I was going to say the same. They're not because this one has green and orange. And it's a candy corn. It's like a bejeweled candy corn. And this one is orange and white with like a pumpkin face. And then I love layering them all together because I think the Hey Boo looks wicked cute with the ghost. So if you want more of a color collection, you have this one. And if you want more of a black and white look, there's this one. This one says Ghost Them, which is super cute. You have a little ghosty. And then this one is the pumpkin. So there is a little orange there, but this one is mostly black and white. But like I, I layered all six. Figured I would rock it on the last day. These will be put away. I won't use them again until next year. Um, same with the scrunchie. The cardigan I'm debating because I do really like the cardigan. You guys let me know. Is this something you would feel weird wearing year round? I will definitely take your opinion on that. But this one, like I said, is something I wear all the time. The Torah dress does not have to be Halloween because it's not. So I'm going to ask you, be like, is that actually a costume or is that just a dress? I said, it's a dress. I just figured I'd make it Halloween-y. She said, well, that's even better because Halloween costumes, the fabric usually sucks. And I was like, yes, I agree. So this was so nice and breathable. It was definitely good for the 75 day we had on Saturday. Today was a little on the colder side, but the cardigan definitely helped. The building is nice and, um, I'm going to say air conditioned, heated. It was mostly just for me to get, you know, in and out of the school building. But yes, this is what I wore for Halloween. Um, the next three days, I might be kind of lazy because I, I didn't really dress up today. Um, but I don't know. I have like a Barbie look I almost want to do tomorrow. I kept contemplating on doing Wednesday Adams or Barbie. And then today when I realized I wasn't having enough room for time for the braids, I was like, let's just do the dress with a black spiderweb cardigan. So it's not a specific costume, but it's halloween -y. versus my Barbie. It just says Barbie on the sweatshirt. And I was going to throw like a pink blazer, but it's not necessarily like that's not halloween -y, where this was definitely more halloween -y. We'll see how the next three days go. Um, I, I, your girl is feeling tired. She's ready to just kind of rest because the last two days were kind of crazy. Um, but things are not going to be slowing down. Christmas is around the corner. Uh, but I love this time of year. Honestly, I hate the busyness of it. That's why I already did a lot of my shopping. But I do enjoy, you know, time spent with family and the lights and all those things. Uh, it's once January comes is when I'm miserable. But anyway, that is it today for day two. All right, guys. Like I said, I did dress up a lot the last two days. Especially yesterday with it being Halloween. I wanted to look Halloween-y and cute for work. And I've been tired. So it is literally 7 o'clock. I'm going to shower and go lay in bed. I really wanted an early day. 
So today I just let myself throw on a cute little sweater. It was very simple today. I just got this sweater from Target. I got it in this really pretty neutral gray and I also got it in a really pretty color. I got it in purple. Um, it's a little on the crop side, but definitely not like super crop. You don't really see anything when I lift my arms. Um, but I definitely prefer to wear it with high waisted pants. So I'm wearing my Torrid bombshell skinny jeans. My only complaint is the sleeves. You guys know I mentioned all the time I love when it gets tight at the wrist. This obviously doesn't. So sometimes it feels like it gets in the way. Like just now, and I think this is why I've just been extra tired because I feel like even though I clock out at three o'clock as a teacher, I, I honestly would stay after school and I was originally staying after school and prepping things at work. But I bring home two of Joe's cousins so I've been leaving right at three. So when I get home, I've been prepping stuff at home and bringing stuff back and forth. So I just stopped prepping my lesson for tomorrow. So I feel like even though I'm clocking out at three, I'm working almost like 12 hour days. Granted, I'm not physically working. I'm not standing up. I'm not on my feet. I'm not teaching a lesson. But, you know, mentally, my mind is always going because like I said, it's seven o'clock. So I stop, I leave the house at seven, the latest to get to work. Technically I don't start till 7.45, but basically I feel like I worked seven to seven. I worked like a 12 hour day. Um, so I'm trying to get a little more ahead with lessons, uh, especially like the month of November, the month of December. If I can get really ahead to be ready for the new year, that would be great. We'll see how that goes. But the reason the sleeves were getting in the way it wasn't so much when I was eating, I didn't really notice it getting in the way. I mean, maybe it was what I ate today because I used like a fork. But sometimes certain things I do eat with my hands, that might have gotten in the way. There's days where I make like adult Lunchables for work with like pepperoni and crackers and cheese. Uh, but because it was a fork, it was fine today. But when I was prepping the materials, um, I do a lot with lamination and Velcro. And the Velcro was like sticking to the sweaters. I had like Velcro stickers all over me. Then when I was peeling it off, it was kind of like pulling fuzz from the sweater. So that's why I do prefer when the sleeves get tight around the wrist. I just feel like it's, I don't know, it's, it's a thing for me. You guys let me know how you feel about that. But I feel like it's just a lot easier to work with sleeves that are tight. But I do like the flowiness of this sleeve. And sometimes I do like having like a really cute bell sleeve it's just harder to work in basically is my only complaint but this is cute little crop sweater from target everything will be linked down below as usual not sure what i'm gonna do tomorrow friday but yeah i think i'm literally gonna just be casual for the rest of the week but that is it for today all right guys it is thursday day four and i did another simple sweater and jean look but this one is very unique and very cute I am obsessed with it. I got tons of compliments. I felt super cute today. As you can see, it has this cute little slit detail. You guys let me know what you think of it. I personally like it. I did get a lot of compliments. I had one staff member say, oh, did your sweater rip? I'm like, no, it's a slit. I thought it was wicked cute. That's all that matters. I'm the one wearing it. I will say this is more on the expensive side. This sweater was $35. That is not something I would pay just looking at on the website, like I shop online, you guys know, because for me, the plus sizes are online with Target. But now that I have it on, I would be willing to pay 35. I didn't pay 35 because it was on sale. I got it for 30% off. But I can understand why this is $35. This is a very thick fabric and a very warm fabric, even though it is cropped, which I do kind of like it with the little slit. It's so cute. It kept me warm today. Today dropped, what was the temp say, Joe, in the 40s? 40s, 30s. Yeah, it was like the first like true like winter day. And I know technically winter is not till, I think it's December 21st. But here in Mass, that is how it is. It hits November and the temps drop. So I feel like we always have a very limited fall time. And I try to enjoy it to the fullest when I can. And that's why I wore those cute fall outfits. Um, but, uh, this fall, it didn't rain a lot too, which was kind of bumming me out, but whatever. It is cold now. I left the house. I got to my car. There was frost on my window. It's starting to get that time of year where I got to wake up extra early, defrost my car. So I wanted to wear this thicker. It felt thicker and warmer. So I said, let's try it. And guys, this kept me warm. In fact, when I got home 
and I was cooking, I was sweating, like being by the oven wearing this sweater, I had to change. So I just threw it back on so I could show it to you guys. So in my opinion, worth $35 for sure. I don't know how it washes, but definitely cute. Not only is it cute, but it's high quality and good materials. It is a new brand that has been popping up at Target. I kept the tag so I could show you guys. And it is the Future Collective. Everything from this brand is a little more on the expensive side, but it's it's still affordable for Target for sure. And it is by this designer. I don't know if you guys ever heard of her. Reese Bloodstenstein. I don't know who that is. But when you open it, there's actually a picture of her. The tag is actually super cute. And it says, meet Atlanta-based creative visionary, Reese Blutstenstein. Her unique approach to personal style took the fashion world by storm. Gathering inspiration from vintage staples to everyday fashion, she believes the way you dress can change your mind for the better. And then it says, inspired by what's now to create what's next. Um, and I will say the only thing about this brand is it only goes up to a size 3X. You guys know generally in Target, I go, I buy a 4X. So I contemplated buying the sweater for that reason. I have a little 3X tag just to show you guys. Um, I just kind of wrapped it on this um, tag so I could show you guys. But because it is cropped, because it does not go over my problem area, it doesn't go over my hips, I figured I could get away with the 3X. If it had been longer, I'm not sure I would have. The slit also helps too. I've told you guys before. When I wear longer shirts, if it has a slit, it helps have some breathing room for the hips. If this didn't have the slit, I'm not sure if it would have been pulling over here. But the 3X fits me perfectly. I'll have to see if I try this brand again in a 3X in a different design if it'll fit or not. But if you generally get the 4Xs in Target, this 3X will fit you. More on the expensive side, but definitely, definitely good quality. People were loving it. Like, they were like, oh, I love the color. I love the design. And you guys can see it is a really pretty knitted design. And, like, I love the detail on the sleeves. Super cute. It does go a little tighter on the wrist. Not crazy, but you do see that difference here. And I just love it. And it was perfect for today's cold, cold weather. But that is it for day four. It'll probably just be a sweater and jeans again tomorrow. We're in my... Um, go to bloom sheet jeans you guys know all the links will be down below my bloom sheet code will be down below i did wear new shoes today i don't know why i don't wear should have worn my boots of all days because it was so cold but i got these recently in amazon and i was dying to wear them and it was my platform fake converses so i can link these down below i just thought it was such a cute look but yeah that is it guys for day four all right guys this is editing taylor i am editing the outfits of the week that is going up and I just realized I don't have a clip for Friday. And normally I would just refilm it. Like, you know, I tell you guys, oh, I forgot that happened last week. And just not refilm it because it was never filmed. I would just film it now and be like, oh, I forgot here. This is what I wore Friday. But I don't remember what I wore Friday. So it's only going to be four outfits this week. And next week's only going to be four outfits too because it's Veterans Day. So I'm only going to wear four outfits for work. Um, but yes, I will be linking the four outfits down below. Let me know what your favorite outfit was. Um, you guys know that this is a series I do every single Saturday. I show you guys the outfits I wear throughout the week at work. Sunday is either self-care Sunday or I take the day off for self-care. Monday and Tuesdays are unboxings and hauls. Wednesday is What's Up Wednesday. I've been doing kind of like a question series over there. Part one, it's going to be 10 parts in total eventually. Get to know me questions. Thursday is book club with my friend Charmaine. And Friday is either a try-on haul or a vlog. Um, right now... And for this week, it was a try-on haul when you guys are watching. Um, it was Torrid, so I will link that down below if you're interested. Um, it's It'll be vlogs whenever I go out and do something exciting with Joe. I don't feel like my life is that exciting to do daily vlogs. But as I'm saying that, I have decided I am going to do Vlogmas. Um, you know, it'll just be an everyday life situation that I think you guys might enjoy. If it was just playing me on in the background. You know, it would kind of be cool maybe to see a Vlogmas from a different perspective from someone who's not like a big famous YouTuber. So if that interests you, definitely consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell so you're notified next time I upload. If you like the video like me, you like the Outfit of the Week series, it definitely seems to be one of y'all's favorites. That and my try-on hauls do the best. I think you guys love the fashion content. I'm so glad I finally got out of my bubble and did it. That is how I wanted to originally start my channel. But 
I, it was 2020. I had gained significant amount of weight. I didn't have a lot of clothes that fit me. I wasn't going out a lot. Um, and I started as an unboxing channel and it really helped kind of just like me get used to things and cameras and editing. And then I eventually started the outfits of the week series this year. And now I'm doing try on hauls and you guys definitely love it. And I love it. You know, I want to be true plus size representation for you guys. And I link everything down below. So it's easy shopping for you. I hope you all enjoy it. If you like me, you like the videos, give it a thumbs up helps the youtube algorithm for more plus size people to find me or straight size um i should tell you guys all the time a lot of the clothes i buy you know minus like torrid but a lot of show you is like target old navy um they carry all sizes so it definitely could pertain to you guys as well but that is it for this video guys be safe